Okay, good morning. Welcome to Family Math Number 40. Family Math Number 40. Today we are going to estimate the number of leaves on that tree standing behind us. And uh, what kind of tree is that? It's a magnolia. It's a magnolia tree. It's a really pretty tree in the in the spring and summer. It's kind of leaves are fading now, but that's okay. So we did a little prep work for this. And what kind of shape does that tree sort of look like if we're going to estimate? Like a can shape. Yeah, it look, like looks, a looks kind of like a can or a cylinder. Yeah, so we're going to pretend it's a cylinder. That's number one. Number two, we had to do a little bit of measuring on, on that tree. And the first thing was uh, we measured that ladder. You see that ladder hanging up against the tree? Yep. Do you remember how tall that ladder was? It was 24 feet. No, it was 14 feet. Nope. It was, the ladder was 12. 12 feet. The ladder was 12 feet tall. And how, how about how high up the tree does that ladder look like it is? About halfway up the tree. So how tall is the whole tree? If the ladder is 12 feet tall and it's halfway up, how tall is the whole tree? 24. 24 feet tall. And then the leaves don't start until how far up? About 6 feet. Yeah. The leaves don't start until 6 feet up. So how many feet of leaves are there? Just about 18 feet. About 18 feet of leaves. Okay, so that's good to know. And then since it's a cylinder, we had to measure the radius, but it's hard to measure the radius. So we, instead we measured the diameter. What was the diameter about? 17 feet. 17 feet. Okay, so we're going to have to remember those numbers for step 3. This was step one, introducing it. Now here comes step two. Are you ready? Yep. All right. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to see how big the leaves are. And we have a cutting board. We have a cutting board here, and it's 13 inches long by 16 inches. So we're going to have to remember that. So we're going to do a little puzzle here and see how many leaves it takes to cover the cutting board. So if we put a leaf on like this, okay, now put another leaf on. We're going to try to cover the whole cutting board. There's two. Okay, you put one on. Three, okay, four, still not covered. we're still not completely covered, but maybe all these extra spots could be covered by how many more leaves? Maybe about. Maybe one more, if, you, if we cut this leaf up, leaf up into little parts. Yeah. Okay, so we can cover our 13 inch by 16 inch cutting board with how many leaves did it take? About? Five. Five, okay, so we got a lot of numbers to remember, but can you remember them? Yeah. Okay, so here we go. Three, two, one, to the tree. Nope. To the whiteboard. Okay, we're at the at the board now. Now we have to uh, talk about a couple of things here. We're going to do it pretty quickly. The tree had 18 feet of leaves, right? Yeah. And a 17 foot diameter. We're just pretending that the tree is this big cylinder. Okay. Yeah. It turns out the formula for the area of a cylinder, just the outside area, not the volume, but the area on the outside, is pi times the radius squared times the height, which is pi is about 3.14. 17 feet diameter meant 8.5 foot radius, and the height was 18, and so that's about 4,084 square feet. But we have to go from square feet to square inches, because we're going to do this in square inches. So. If I have something, if I have a square that's one foot by one foot, how many inches is it on each side? Twelve inches. Twelve inches. So one square foot, one times one is one, is how many square inches? 144. 144. So there's 12 inches in a foot and 144 square inches in a square foot. Does that make sense? Yep. No? Okay, well let me explain it. Do you remember how you find the area of a square? You take one side times the other side? Mm -hmm. Do you remember that? So 1 times 1 is? 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. And then that's in feet, but to do it in inches we have to do 12 times 12. Do you know what 12 times 12 is? Well, that's 144. 144. So that's why 1 square foot, 1 times 1, is the same as 12 square inches. Does that make sense now? Yeah. Okay, very good. So this is, in square inches, 4084 times 144 inches squared. That's how many inches squared of leaves there are, we think, on the tree. Okay? That's a yeah. lot. All right, so we got to go to the next step. Okay, we're back. So we had to do a little bit of multiplication. Uh, we had to multiply our... Uh, square foot by 144 and we found the tree, if we pretend the tree is a cylinder, the outside of the cylinder has an area of about 588,096 because remember we had to multiply by 144? 
Yep. Now we had our little cutting board that was 13 inches by 16 inches, and that took about five leaves, right? Yeah. And so 13 times 16 is 208 square inches. So our tree we're estimating is about 588,000 square inches, and our little board is 208 square inches. So we take the tree divided by the board, which is 588,000 divided by 208, and we get about 2,827 boards to make the outside of that tree, pretending it's a cylinder. Do we have 2,827 of those boards lying around? Are you sure? Did you check upstairs? No. no, we don't have. How many of those boards do we have? One. One. Mm, that's not enough. But in any case, if we had 2,827 boards, how many leaves would we need to make to cover up all those boards? We need to multiply 2827 by 5. So 2827 times 5 is about 14,000. So that tree, mm -hmm. we estimate has about 14,000 leaves. Whoa. Can you believe that? No. No? So if you had to go rake up 14,000 leaves... Make one big leaf pile. That would make one big leaf pile, plus all the other trees we have. I think we're going to have a pretty huge leaf pile. But that's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. So what did we do to do that estimating? First, we measured the tree and pretended it was a cylinder. Okay, and we calculated how big the outside part of that cylinder was. Not the top and the bottom, just the outside around the cylinder. Just making a simple estimation. Yep. yep. Okay. Then we took something smaller, which was a cutting board, and we said, well, how many leaves does it take to cover up that cutting board? And it took about five. And then we said, well, how much bigger is the tree than the cutting board? And the tree is 2,827 times bigger than the cutting board. Whoa. Whoa. And so if it took five leaves to cover the cutting board, it would take about 14,000 leaves to cover the tree. Whoa. Whoa. How cool is that? 14,000 leaves. Would you have guessed there were 14,000 leaves on that tree? No. No? Well, it's when you're a little bit older and you have to rake them all up, you might have guessed that. Okay? Good job, guys. Good job. That's estimating the number of leaves on a tree.